there, and welcome to Hectic Eclectic. Today I'm reviewing Gauntlet by Holly Jennings. For those of you who don't know, Gauntlet is a sequel to Arena. Both books immerse us in a futuristic world where esports is the big thing and gamers are bigger than celebrities and athletes. In fact, gamers are the new celebrities and athletes because their real life physique, skills, and capabilities transfer into the game and control just how well they play. In the case of our main character, Callie Ling, this means learning how to fight in a male dominated industry. And I literally mean fight. This is the focus of the first book, Arena. In the second book, Callie Ling and her teammates are invited into a brand new, one of a kind international tournament where the best gamers from around the world will be tested unlike they've ever been tested before. And this new game kicks it up a notch from the rage tournaments that Callie and her teammates are used to. In this new game, they're going up against other teams and artificial intelligence. Like the first book, Gauntlet is all about full immersion gaming. Need I really say more? This is the new big thing, and it's only going to get bigger in our lifetimes. But most importantly, it sets the stage for a whole new world of gaming technology. Arena and Gauntlet show us that world. They show us what life could be like if full immersion technology became real, and I love it. I love all of it, both the good and the bad. But you're going to have to read them to find out just what those are. As a science fiction writer myself, I would never venture into AI tech. It's complicated to write and build, and I oppose it in real life. However, Holly Jennings did an amazing job implementing it into Gauntlet. It was realistic, it enhanced the plot, it had the same sinister aspect that many skeptics often associate with AI, and it made Gauntlet a whole different ballgame from Arena. Now, I gotta be honest, I didn't like Gauntlet as much as Arena. The stakes were different, the plot was different, the challenges were different, but it just didn't have the same oomph and pizzazz as Arena did. Even so, this book was still really good and I actually devoured it. I was also a little disappointed with how slow Gauntlet moves. Not because it's drawn out, the plot actually moves at a pretty good clip, but I think it was slow for me because the tension didn't build the way I thought it would. It had a slow build, never quite reaching a climax until the last few chapters, and then it just piled on. I wasn't a big fan of this. The contrast was too great for me, and it made the sudden climax a bit overwhelming. That ending though, I loved that ending. I hate that ending. It was exactly what I wanted it to be, and yet it made me so mad. That's all I'm gonna say on it. <laughs> Suckers. My final rating for Gauntlet is 4 out of 5 stars. I loved this book, and I really hope Holly Jennings publishes a third book in the series. For now, though, Gauntlet comes out April 4th by Ace Books, so you guys should go pick up your copy then. Or you can enter my giveaway to win an arc of Gauntlet. The details for that are in the info box below. And if you like this book review, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week with another video on Hectic Eclectic. Bye!